Okay, last time we looked at the uh, concepts of specific heat and um, and heat, which are, are different things. We introduced an equation that relates the two in, in, in our last video, Q equals MC delta T. And we're in this video going to practice one problem uh, working through uh, a typical calculation. So it would be helpful if you have a calculator out and ready to use. Um, I am a big fan of, of labeling problems as I read through them. We're going to work on number one in this video. And it starts off and it says, given 132.8 joules, I'm going to underline that. I'm going to label that as Q. Okay, that's what that is heat energy is required to heat 11.17 grams. Again, underline it. That is the mass of aluminum. And we're heating it from 15.3 degrees Celsius to 28.94. So I think it's important that we label which one comes first. That's our initial temperature. And this is our final temperature. And in this problem, they ask us to find, if we can, the specific heat of aluminum metal. Okay, that's our goal uh, in this particular problem. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to switch to a different view, and I've listed out all of the different variables, everything that I know, and the things that I don't know. And so it's simply um, plugging into the equation. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use units in this particular case because I want you to see how they cancel out as we go along. I'm going to label C as C of aluminum since that's what we're solving for. So I plug in my heat energy 132.8 joules. Plug in my mass 11.17 grams. I don't know my specific heat capacity, so I'll leave that as is. And my change in temperature is going to be final minus initial, 28.94 minus 15.73, and that is all degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm going to work through this problem really step by step algebraically so everybody knows where I'm coming from. First thing I'm going to do is take the difference between those two temperatures and see what's left. So I get 28.94 minus 15.73. I get 13.21 degrees. Celsius, that's our change in temperature. Still haven't found our specific heat. That's the goal of the problem. Mass stays the same, as does our energy. Now, the truth is, I just want to isolate um, that specific heat. And so in my next step, all I'm going to do is come through and I am going to divide this right side by 11.17 grams and um, 13.21 degrees Celsius. But I need to do that to both sides of the equation, right? I'm going to do it to one side. I need to do it also to the other. So I'm dividing it by 11.17 times 13.21 grams or degrees Celsius. So what does that do for me? I cancel out my grams. I cancel out my Celsius on this side. In fact, I cancel out all of these values. What I'm left with is the specific heat of aluminum is equal to 132.8 joules divided by 11.17 grams times 13.21 degrees Celsius. 
Now, how you how you plug that into your calculator matters. And so um, listen closely. I know you can't see my calculator. I'm going to say 132.8 divided by 11.17 and hit divide again, 13.21. What I'm left with is essentially, especially uh, keeping in mind mm, significant figures, 0 0.9000. And the units are joules over grams degrees Celsius. And that's my specific heat of aluminum. So that's it, really. That's my answer. And we are good to go. Okay. See you next time.